plaintiff, Francis Sousa, says he took the defendant on one date to the racetrack with him because he's a race car driver. But she made a fool of herself while there because she was drinking, slurring her words, and she even became aggressive with a police officer. Francis is suing for stolen property and money. Defendant Teresa O'Bara says Francis is out of his mind. And he not only told her that he often pays $10 for prostitutes, but he also asked her how much it would cost for him to get with her. Teresa's countersuing because she claims Francis is lying about her being a thief. Start with you. Your Honor, I met Mrs. Albara in uh, 2015, about September. Uh, I'm a race driver and she knows that and uh, she wanted to go to the races. So I dated her and took her to the races. And while I was up there, she acted awful funny. She was drinking and splurring weirds all over and going out, got a police officer, saying she wanted to bring a dog up there. And I was trying to tell you, I can't bring a dog up there. It's hard for their ears, it'll hurt them. It's cruelty to animals. She's giving me a hard time. They, what about the police officer? What the was police she? officer brought her to the owner of the Speedway and she's telling the owner that she has the right to bring the dog to the track, that she has a court order. And um, he got kind of mad about that, called me up and told me, don't bring that girl up here anymore. I, I told him, okay. She acted a fool, is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Take me to the owner. Yeah. She had a, a you did, where the police? You take me to your boss. Don't you talk to me. <laughs> Don't you talk. Isn't that how you talked? No. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. So she, she made a fool of herself and a fool of me, shamed me, and so I decided not to bring her up there anymore. If she did that, that was a good decision, but I don't believe she did it. Ma'am? I wouldn't bring me either. If that happened, right. Let's get this out of the way. We're gonna get to the property and the money in a minute, but tell me, what happened? Your Honor, I did meet him late summer last year through neighbors who, I love the car races. It's been 20 years since I've been. So when they said that they knew a friend that was into that, and he was an older guy, personally, he's about 30 years old, older for me. This gentleman? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did want to go. So I said, I'll go with you on one term. I want one of those hamburgers that they're famous for. Mm -hmm. And he goes, are you serious? Those are $5. <laughs> I said, mm -hmm. I don't care if they're $10. I'll go with you if you buy me one of those burgers. <laughs> well, he gave me a $10 bill. I came back. $4, he goes, hey, where's my other dollar? I said, I gave it to the girl, she's going to college. And he's like, I don't care about that. I said, well, I'm not gonna give you a dollar back. And she said, I'm not gonna go back and get it from her. You go tell her you want your dollar back. But he's on a fixed income was, too, right? Aren't he, you on a fixed income? Are you kidding me? Your Honor, this guy tapes at all these races. He gets $20 a tape. I got one in my purse. And I went with him to about four races. Okay, did you act a fool he, at one of them? Why did you stop going? I wouldn't go with him anymore, would Why? you? I don't oh, know how Lord. it was. This it's guy, <laughs> this guy, there's something about me being in my, the field I'm in. I'm a psych nurse. I've worked in the jails. I've worked in mental health. And I'll tell you, this man is a frosting on the cake. I have never in my life, and he called me up and told me about all these prostitutes and, he pays $10 or gas money, which are sometimes both. And I said, do you have any idea what an STD is? He goes, what's that? It don't sound good. I went, oh man. I said, how old? He goes, 76. At least they're more expensive than the burgers. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but look at the money he's making on the tapes and the pills. I'm in the wrong business. I, I live off under $900 a month. So he was telling you he gets $10 prostitutes. Yep, two. Only he only deals with two of them. They usually come together. All right. <laughs> I don't know whether that's each or for the pair. To two. All right, I don't you don't know whether know. that's a two I don't for one. wanna know. All right. He's got me so, I, 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 I don't even want to ever see this man again for the rest Tell of my life. Tell me about this incident. You keep dodging that incident. Did you Which try incident? and take a pet to the racetrack and when they tried I to stop you, you acted a fool? No, absolutely not. Never tried do to I take a like pet Do I look like I then? would do something like that? I hope you say no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> no, I'm serious. 
The man I just made that up, man. You didn't try to take a dog to the park at all. I to did the race. ask. I did ask the owner. I. You got to remember, I used to be in that circle. Did you try and take a I dog to the race? I asked her if my dog could come, and they said no. No, they said yes. So it wasn't a problem. No, I went to how many races with you after that, Frank? Come on. You went to many others afterwards? Yes. Okay, so that this, wasn't the oh, last this time. All stuff. Oh, I all went right. four times. All right, let's He get... asked me how much for you on the second time I was at his house. And I said, are you serious? He goes, yeah, I'm serious. I said, 20,000. He goes, <laughs> you must be good. You don't remember this, Frank? I said, now that you question my, how good I am, it's 40,000. <laughs> Her personality, you, you've just seen it, really. She manipulates. She, she got a habit of saying, I don't rob, I don't steal, I don't rob, I don't steal. That's all she ever says. And that's all she does, just steal. And that's what you're suing her for, stolen they property her, and stolen uh, money. Yeah, they call her a uh, clipomaniac or something. The people's <laughs> problems call her a kook. She just robbed Kmart's about three months ago. <laughs> and what? With a gun, yours. How? She was in jail. She was in... What did she do at... Kmart. She stole. She stole. <laughs> uh, what'd you steal? Lip that's the, that's not true, Your Honor. What did you steal? Period. You are such a liar. Well, you look at the record, Your Honor. Barbara. I mean, they got a record of her stealing Kmart. She's brought out. She got arrested. Ma'am? They catch you stealing at Kmart? No, that was thrown out. That was all out. <laughs> I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you the truth, and when I explained to the man that I had to see... Why is everybody accusing you of that? I don't know, you have to ask him. No, I'm asking you, don't put God in this. Oh, God is, have God anything is to definitely do with. in this. No, he ain't in you. Uh, no, really? Not the way you talking today. People who have God in them don't play with him like that. Well, he never sleeps in my book. I'm a very good don't Christian. Don't put God in your thieving ways, ma'am. Continue proving your case, sir. She says she's never taken anything from you. What well, evidence do you have or what can you tell me or how do I know you're telling the truth if she denies it? Yes, sir. Uh, as I still kept in contact with her daughter, even though I didn't take her to races. And um, there's a gentleman that lives above her upstairs. He's an 86-year-old gentleman. And um, she put in that she's his caretaker and a nurse. She keeps claiming she's a nurse. And she was charging him. She also has a caretaker and a nurse taking care of her. So I don't know how she could be a caretaker and a nurse, but this is what she told the gentleman upstairs, the 86-year-old mm -hmm. man, and was charging him money for taking care of him. And she would take him to the bank and we'd draw money out of his children's bank books. And we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars in each child's bank book. Really? Yes, sir. Okay. And, and she would con him into getting money. What did she do to you, sir? Well, she came into my home. Uh, the first time she stole from me was um, she stole toilet paper. <laughs> me and my when roommate. did she steal toilet paper from you, sir? Ah, uh, that would be this year. It would be around in December. All right. And then we overlooked that. What? It's just toilet paper. You saw her? Did you mention it to her? Yeah. So she said that she didn't take it. She got it from the gentleman upstairs. I happened to be at her house. And All right, I, what else, sir? Next incident. The next incident was uh, she came to the house and um, she was just picking up things, putting it in her pocketbook, picking it up in her pocketbook. And I'm telling her, why are you doing that? You're looking at her and she's yeah, picking your yeah. things up, putting them in her pocketbook. Yes, sir. I, and I, you I, ask her why and what did she yes, say? Yes, sir. And she's, I don't steal, I don't rob. That's her favorite But she saying. just kept picking it yes, up. Yes, she does. And I look at my roommate and his grandson. And I, right in front of you guys. Yeah. And you're saying, why are you taking my things? And she said, I don't steal. And just kept <laughs> grabbing the stuff. Is that what you're saying, sir? That doesn't sound reasonable, but, sir. Amen. Right. She told the police department that she don't steal either. She's, I didn't take nothing. I don't do nothing. That's her yeah, saying. But what you just said sounds highly unreasonable, so what, sir. When so she's in the give house. me the specifics of what you're suing for today. Describe those thefts, okay. when and how they occurred. Okay. While she was at my home, she came into the house, which she wasn't allowed in my house. We told her we didn't want her at that house anymore. She came into the house on her own, pushed the door in, came into the house and went and made herself a drink of vodka and orange juice <laughs> and was just 
roaming around the house. <laughs> I wanted her out of the house. In the meantime, she went into my bedroom and she was stealing things from inside the bathroom. She stole my gold chains and some How other. How do you know? It came up missing well, after she well, left well, out? How do I know? I, the reason I know that, Your Honor, is because uh, I see it taking the chains and putting it in the pocketbook. So I confronted her and I said, hey, put that back. Put it back. So she threw it at me. She, she threw it at me and that would be the cha this watch that I have on here now and the chain that I wear here now. Now, so here's the hold on. Let me understand. This is the second time she's been stealing right in front of your face. Mm. And this time, you don't have the other people there, but you're looking right at her and you just say, put that back. Put that no. back. No, I told her. Unbelievable. I told her if she don't put it back, I would call the police. I said, empty your pocketbook. And I emptied it on my bed, and she emptied the pocketbook on the bed and started taking some of the stuff out. And I said, just put it back, put it back. You have the DVD here. I have it. Well, I did. You can see it. I have the DVD here. Oh, I hope you do. And I kept telling them, put it back, put it back. Well, this is unbelievable, ma'am. It... I... <laughs> can I talk, Your Honor? Please. Yeah. Yeah, it appears it's just what you're saying. She's feeling yeah. it, yes, sir. She's Man, what's she, going she's on here? Me. Yes, now, sir. would you like to hear the right story? Yeah, I want to know what's going on okay. there. You got caught, it's Terry. You no, got caught. You are, you're on DVD. You are, you're a chronic You got liar. caught robbing me. Okay, may I tell let you? Her, let, her, let her speak yeah, my mother, Your Honor, I'm my mother's speak. ring, my mother's, my wife's ring, my uh, great-grandma. Yeah. My wife that I divorced four years ago, uh -huh. haven't seen my kids in 40 years. The diamond I bought, an engagement ring. It means a lot to me. I don't care about the money. Why take those things from me? Ma'am, explain what I just saw. Okay. He's right. I was going to bring that up. I'm glad you brought it up for me. His son comes in, right? So he <laughs> says, um, Frank, did, did you see my lunch meat? And I like this kid. He's a good kid. It's too bad the environment. Tell me is. about this, ma'am. I am. I'm this. trying to tell you. So the kid says, I bought some spicy chicken last night. I made a sandwich for work today. Now it's all gone. Well, what happened, I already know. But I said to the kid, I said, if you're anything like me, you probably made a mistake and put it in the freezer. Check the freezer. Check anywhere you might have put it. All right. You know what happened? This guy was stoned and didn't have any food in his little refrigerator. Unless you can and explain what I saw in 15 because, seconds, okay, I'm going to okay, rule in his favor okay, and dismiss okay, your I'm claim. I'm going to explain. Uh -huh. So anyway, he says to me, the only ones that were in here today is me and her. And I says, don't look at me. I, I, I got my own food, thank you. I feed you. I made Easter dinner for what this What did guy. I see, ma'am? You, you saw me putting back, he says, Go in my room and dump all that stuff out of that pocketbook right to now. To look for what? Lunch me. Yeah, right. All right, your counterclaim <laughs> for your your counterclaim for three thousand is for what, ma'am? What is your counterclaim for? How did he slander you, ma'am? By saying all the things he's just told this courtroom. Okay. Not one of the those number things one is defense true, to, the number address. one defense to slander is truth. Or it's his opinion, one or the other. Either it's his opinion, and that's not slander, or it's truth. It's his opinion that you stole his things, that's why he had you dumping his stuff out. Or it's true, you've been caught stealing before, or you've been prosecuted. You won the case, but you were prosecuted for stealing before. Everything that he says matched what I saw on that video. Therefore, just... your slander claim is dismissed, because either it's truth or... It's his opinion and him showing that he had you dumping your things out. And by your own admission, you were dumping your things out to prove you had not stolen, proves that it's not slander. And I believe you were dumping them out because you had stolen from him. Judgment for the plaintiff, your claim is dismissed. Have a good day.